Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. This video will show you how to create a navigation item that navigates to a page that displays data in UX grid view. Let's start by creating a new project using Intersoft Client UI Outlook Navigation Application Project Template. Then, name it as Outlook Navigation App and click OK to create the project. This project template contains references to several client UI assemblies, such as the framework assemblies, data assemblies, and so on. This project template also includes assets, models, selectors, view models, view models infrastructure, and views folder. Assets folder contains the data, images and styles used in the pages in main page and views folder. Models folder contains model base class that can be used as a base class for other model classes. Selectors contains the style selector used in this project. The view models folder contains view model classes that describes the user interaction logic of each view. View models infrastructure folder contains the helper and base classes to support the MVVM pattern development. The views folder contains the user interface of your application which mainly consisted of layout and user interface control. First of all, create a new products page that displays the product data in UX grid view. To start, let's add a database that is needed to be used in the page. In this case, let's use Northwind database that is located in Intersoft Solutions data folder. Then, add Northwind.mdf to app data. After that, add ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Name it as Northwind Model, and Entity Data Model Wizard will be displayed afterwards. Specify the connection string of Northwind Database. Select Products Table. When you install Intersoft Web UI Studio 2011 Installer, it will automatically install DevForce in your machine. It will also add DevForce EDM Designer extension to Visual Studio. So, when a new entity model is created, the designer extension will attempt to run a text template to set the entity. In this sample, simply cancel the process. Next, set DevForce enabled to false in the Northwind model properties. Then, you can save and build the web project. Now, proceed to the next step where you need to add Domain Service class. Select Domain Service class and name it as Northwind Domain Service. Select Product Table that you have built and click OK. It will automatically generate a Domain Service class complete with the product queries. As you can see, you will now have Northwind Domain Service.cs and Northwind Domain Service.metadata.cs. Northwind Domain Service implements application logic using the Northwind Entities context. Whereas Northwind Domain Service Metadata identifies product metadata as the class that carries additional metadata for product class. Rebuild the web project afterwards. Moving on to Outlook Navigation App Project. Add reference to the References folder, and select intersoft.client.data.provider.ria. Next, add Model Services Infrastructure folder and select Add Existing Item afterwards.
we will need to have data repository generic and I data repository classes that you can retrieve from the project using Intersoft Client UI MVVM Data Application WCF RIA SP1 template. Data Repository Generic class provides read-only data access. iData Repository class is an interface that defines the methods to support a data repository implementation. Open iData Repository class and rename the namespace to Outlook Navigation App. Then, open data repository generic class. Remove unnecessary namespace and rename the namespace to Outlook Navigation App as well. Save all the changes and build the project. Select Add Existing Item in the View Model Infrastructure folder. Add Grid View Model Generic Base and Message Presenter classes. Grid View Model Generic Base class is a generic View Model Base class that supports server-side data access to WCF or IS services using Query Descriptor. Message Presenter class is Helper class, which encapsulate basic methods to show a message box. After that, open Message Presenter class. Remove unnecessary namespace and rename the namespace to Outlook Navigation App. Then, open Grid View Model Generic Base class and again, remove all unnecessary namespaces and rename the namespace to Outlook Navigation App. Toggle all outlining to expand fields constructor, and properties. Resolve the namespace for iData repository in the properties region. Save all the changes and rebuild the project. Add Model Services folder and select Add Existing Item afterwards. Add Repository Manager class that you can obtain from the project using Intersoft Client UI MVVM Data Application WCF RIA SP1 template. Repository Manager class is a static class to create a new context. Open Repository Manager class, remove the unnecessary namespace, and rename the namespace to Outlook Navigation App. Resolve the Northwind domain context namespace, and save the changes. Add new item in Model Services folder, and select Intersoft MVVM Data Repository WCF RIA template. Name it as Products Repository. The template will automatically generate the fundamental properties and methods to easily create repository class. There are several to-do comments in this item template that shows the parameters and objects to be changed. Now, change editable data repository to data repository and replace the T letter to the product object. Resolve the namespace afterwards. After that, replace domain context with the domain context object that you used. In this sample, replace it to Northwind domain context. Remove the validation part as it is not used in this tutorial video. Then, save the changes and rebuild the project. Next step, add a new class in the View Models folder that inherits from Grid View Model Base class and name it as Products View Model.
resolve the namespace. After that, create the constructor and call the load data method to get the product data. Resolve the namespace as well. Now, create user interface for products view by adding Intersoft UX page in views folder, and name it as products. This page is used to display the products data in UX grid view. Add a reference to products view model class in the UX page, and add the data context in grid. Bind the item source of UX grid view to the item's path. Then, save all changes and rebuild the project. The products page that displays the product data is ready. The next step is adding a navigation item in the main page that will navigate to the products page. Open the main page. Add UX navigation pane item that includes products navigation button. Then, set several properties such as header, Navigate URI to Products page, Navigation State, and Icon. Then, add UX Navigation button, and set Navigate URI to Products page as well. This navigation item will be used when accessing product page that is ready to display UX grid view with the product's data information. URI mapping enables you to create URIs that are descriptive of the user action instead of a path to a file. For example, you can specify that any request for slash home is actually a request for the file at slash views home.xaml. Any request that does not match one of the defined patterns is handled as a regular URI request and is not mapped to a different page. Now, you are ready to run the application. You can navigate to Products page from the Navigation item. The Product page will display UX grid view, complete with its product's data information. In this video, you have learned how to create a navigation item that navigates to Products page that displays data in UX grid view. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. For more videos, please visit our support website at www.intersoftpt.com support.